What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Um, let them win or help them win or let them fail. Parenting 101. So if you have a child and, 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 and they say they want to do something, as a parent, it's probably your responsibility to help them win. Like if you know, if you know what it takes, you know, teach them what it takes, show them what it takes, show them all the, you know, the details, you know, the small things and the big things. But then if you have kids who don't, you know, know where they're going and they just want to, and they're flying by the seat of their pants and they just want to fight about everything, you got to let them fail. Because if they don't fail, what's going to happen? You're going to bail them out every time something happens. And they're never going to actually have to live with their own decisions. You know, some pe some parents are like, oh, you know, I give them everything. Sometimes you shouldn't even help them win. It's going to just, just going to be back and forth, by the way, as you can tell. Sometimes you don't help them win because if you help them win, so if, you, if, you, if you can help, you got to help them to get all the tools that they need to win. But they got to actually win on their own. You know, because if, if, if you help them all the way to the finish line and past the finish line, you know, what happens when they face adversity? They're going to look around for the help and they're not going to actually deal with the adversity. You know, it's a lot of, they're going to do a lot of excuses, do a lot of excuse making. Same thing with uh, you let them fail. You know, sometimes you got to let your kids fail because if you if you're fighting with them to help them, some some people use that fight as a um, as a struggle story. I went through so much because I made bad decisions, so I was fighting to keep making these bad decisions. And you know, how dare they not let me make these bad decisions? And it was a struggle. So sometimes you got to let people fail because you got to let them um, choke themselves out with their own struggle. You know, that's what it is. Some people, some parents don't like to do that because, you know, that's going to fall back on you. But the thing about it is, are you going to help them win versus let them fail? Because the, the, the ultimate thing at the end of the day, you don't want to have a child grow up to be an adult. And now you got to take care of the decisions that they make as an adult because either you didn't help them win when, when they had a direction or you didn't let them fail. And now, you know, they're accustomed to, how can I say this? They're accustomed to you as a person always coming to their rescue. So you might be coming to the rescue of your grandkids because, you know, the plan is that the kid can mess it all up. Like, you going to fix it. That's why I got you. And that, that puts you in a bad spot. But parents are 101. The other thing about if you're going to help them win, you got to let them know it's, everything's not going to always be easy. Even if it's, even if what you're doing gets easy for them you know, life might get in the way. So it might be easy until life gets in the way and, you know, things happen. Same thing about, you know, sometimes you got to let them fail as far as you might tell them a lesson in life over and over and over again, and they may not want to listen. So you got to let life teach the lesson. And then when they fail, hey, you know, there you go. You know, I told you so. But at the same time, when I say let people fail, I also mean, you know, don't fall for the sob story. Don't don't pull them out of the hole that they've dug themselves into. Because if life teaching them the lesson and you go, see, I got to save you. you. You're not helping, you're hurting. You know, um, sometimes you got to let, you know, help folks win to let them know they can't do 
anything or most things um, by themselves. Like sometimes you got to help, you know, your kids win to teach them how to be a team player so they can actually be a team player for somebody else. Because it's nothing worse than having them expecting everybody else help them. And then at the same time, if they win, now they, they have that expectation for society, but they don't help another person win. You got to go through that mode where, you know, hey, I'm going to help you win, but you're supposed to pay it forward to help somebody else win. It's not everybody's a collective team that come together just for you and you particular, and then you win and walk off and you have nothing to do with nobody else. No. And that's part of, you know, letting them fail because... If they don't understand, you know, you got to have a good team around you. Then, and you know, if you want to be solo and do everything solo and it's all on me and you're the individual, well, you know, let them take the brunt of the win solo and let them take the brunt of the loss solo. So, and you got to let them feel that to let them know, hey, this is what you're going to have to deal with. Because basically... You, you have to put them on both sides of the coin to let them know fully, you know, how this can go, if it can go good in this way or it can go bad in another way. And if you shut off the, if you accentuate the good and then shut off the bad, when bad happens, because it will, you don't know which direction that kid might go into because you didn't parent, parent them to deal with when things go bad. And a lot of people have meltdowns because of that. But... You know, tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and peace.